Okay, good uh, good evening. It's actually a Saturday night. So, I wonder what everybody does on a Saturday night. My Saturday night, I normally just stay home. I don't venture out, unless it's to do a family. The other day, I should have taken you, because I'm a bit of a thrifter, I should have taken you with me, because I think the, the good thing about when you're over 50, you have, you have to come up with what, what you can do in your spare time, because you do get lots of spare time. Some of us do have beautiful grandchildren, and they always come down and get to babysit them, but sometimes when you get to the older stage, what you did when you were 20 and 30, you can't do when you're 50 and 60, like clubbing, socialising. I suppose you can do, you still can do sports when you get older, but I'm talking about your social life, about, you know, when I was, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I just loved going out, I'd go to work, Friday was my night, either Saturday was my night, I did lots of sports, I either went for my friends out every weekend this was every weekend so I worked I had a family and it was just like routine to me I had a group of friends that I used to hang out with we used to go out a lot you know I was married we did you know we had just did lots of different things when you're young but when you get to in your late 50s it tends to be okay what are you going to do with yourself because you're not into that life life night life anymore you know not into that clubbing scene I mean and actually I should have taken you out that night too I was at a, um, my niece's engagement last Friday and do you think I was only going to stay for about half an hour I was dropping off some food but I started listening to the music and it was all the 90s music and I was I was a bit of a dancing queen when I was in my 20s and I love music I just love dancing so what do I do I go dance with the young people don't I <laughs> And I was dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing, but um, hello, it paid off. I was really, really sore for about three to four days because your body's not the same it was when you were in your 20s, so I know that now. <laughs> yeah, so. Also, you know, exercise is really, really important. I, will, I try to walk twice, twice a week. I try to, but it's been quite wet in Christchurch, New Zealand. But I do try to walk probably about five kilometres a day. Maybe, not. no, not, not five kilometres, that's just too much. I mean, no, it could be, maybe three kilometres a day. Oh, it might be five, maybe, Pro probably not. I know what five is, and I know. It's probably about two and a half, three kilometres a day. I normally go with my friend. Um, we do that twice a week, and... I still feel like I'm putting on a bit of weight though, because I just, it's just easier to eat and sit when you get to the late 50s, you just, I'll just have a rest, I'll just have a look at something on the internet, I'll just watch a movie, and then out comes, because I'm a junkie on chips, I, even though I've got a colon condition now, because I had cancer a few years ago, I'm a real junkie, I can, I can, I can polish off a big bag of chips easy, but I don't, <laughs> but I'm not eating chocolate, so I have, I've been really good for the last four years, but just la the last year and a bit I've been slipping, so I have put on a bit of weight. That has to change, <laughs> for sure. But why I wanted to do this video is I wanted to show you these books I sourced when I was out on my thrifting, and next time I'll definitely take you to my thrifting. And like last Sunday, I went, I went, I went to, I normally go to the market, the Sunday market, and it, it got to be, it's probably got about 400 store there and it's the biggest in the South Island actually I think it's the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere it's called the Rickerton Market I love markets I love going to 